Okay. Focus, you fuck. Seriously. The United States 2020 population is estimated at 331,002,651 people. 4.25% of the total world population. Okay. I did some math. Honestly, it was just division. Not Tom Clancy's The Division, just Division. Given a $1 trillion stimulus package, divided by 333 million people, each one would get $3,000. So far, there's been... Three stimulus checks sent out. None of them have been three thousand dollars each. The, the the rest of that money doesn't need to go to corporations or states or or legislative bullshit or special interest groups and if it had gone to every last individual person in the United States instead of several billion going to fucking Iraq or Iran for fucking feminist rights things would be a bit different Yes, it would be delaying the inevitable. I'm not going to entertain a delusion like the rest of the mongoloidal sputum that is the human species. This event, this catastrophe, was a long time coming. So it was about now. I'm daresome to say it's too late to wean the whole of the ignorant mongoloidal human species off of its psychosomatic fuck you addiction to money and currency as a fallacy. Because that's what it is. It's a fallacy. But we know through the hard data that uh, number one <laughs> The full amount of those stimulus packages did not go to the people who need it. Second, we see that uh, billionaires and millionaires um, pick insert fucking billionaire here into this sentence and you'll see that their net worth has increased during the last two years. That's where all the extra money went. All the lobbyists got together and did their trust fund great brigade thing with CEOs and shit. And that's where the rest of the money went. And then there was thieves such as landlords just taking it from people. And then they want to push a Supreme Court ruling to fucking stop the moratoriums on rent and whatnot. Well, if your price wasn't so exorbitantly high to begin with, and taxes weren't a thing at all, things would be a lot smoother. And even, even at that point, it would still just be delaying the inevitable for another decade. Rome, Greece, the Weimar Republic, <laughs> the um, uh, 19 somethings uh, event for Japanese economy. Um, name a fucking example of the money currency fallacy failing 
because people are greedy and the established values are made null and void by the debasement of the currency. In ancient Rome and Greece, they simply uh, started snipping the pieces of the coins off. Then they started mixing them with base metals. That in itself, as a side note, in parallel with what I'm going on with, I know the vast majority of you can't do parallel thinking. So, yeah, go fuck yourself. You can't parallel process in your own mind when, you know, the human brain is far more superior to any CPU that is currently made. Yeah, go fuck yourself if you can't think of two things that are similar in context at the same time. Fuck off. Ancient Greece and Rome started with snipping the coins, then mixing them with base metals. Here in America, they just removed the gold standard. Parallel lines of historic progression. Ancient Rome and Greece fell. Their economies tanked because a rock that you dig out of the fucking ground has no fucking value. It's a psychosomatic fucking circle jerk wank all in your head. It's a fallacy. It's accepted as an axiom, but it's a lie. I've said this before in multiple videos. Oh look, I'm Johnny Bravo. Repeating the exact same rhetoric over and over again. Look, I can circle jerk too! And that's exactly the way George Carlin would say it. At least when he's done wanking, he's got something to show for it. Now... Fuck it. I don't have a solution for this shit anymore. It's a circular problem. One which you have to break. It's not a matter of... It's a linear thing. Yeah, you, you fucking mongoloids, you've been trained since birth and enslaved to think linearly. One plus one is two. One, two, three, four whole fucking mathematic splill. You've all been trained to think linearly. You can't parallel process because you're stupid. And that's why the upper point zero zero one percent don't give a fuck about you. Hmm? Are you learning something? Because I really don't give a fuck. I'm just making this video to get it out of my head so that I don't have to think about it anymore. Whether you benefit from it or not, I don't fucking care. You've been brainwashed since birth to think linearly and not do critical thinking and problem solving. You've been trained to absorb and regurgitate information like a little trained Skinner Box dog that's learned helplessness. And Skinner Boxing and the dog being trained learned helplessness is too psychological phenomena that were observed behavioral programming by an actual scientist. That, combined with you thinking the, the, the old accepted axiom, all you have to do is die and pay your taxes. Stay in school. Make good grades. Get a job. Pay your taxes and die. You, don't you fucking see it? The fucking uh, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny of the modern world. We've all been trained into those things. Brainwashed from birth. Step three. Learned helplessness reinforcing your social normalcy bias. And then the cops come in to get you if you do anything that uh, the people in charge don't like. 
leading into step four. The Confusopoly. This person is bad because I'm official. I say he's fucking bad. He broke the law bad on him. He didn't pay his taxes. Yet Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, all the big motherfuckers are strictly not paying any taxes ever. Meanwhile, your fucking tax dollars, they go to the fucking bureaucrats and the fat cats sitting on their ass on a permanent fucking vacation. Living off your tax dollars, claiming, oh, I'm a leader. Look at me, I'm a big shot. I'm a fucking dude up here. I'm doing shit in Congress. I'm I'm making laws. I'm I'm doing policies and shit. Fuck you. Get a real job as a quote unquote essential worker because fuck you. The thing you don't know is that being a leader is a burden and a responsibility, not a fucking job you get paid for. Fucking idiots. What happens when you raise your own fucking kids? You spout that meaningless rhetoric right into their face, making them swallow so that they can regurgitate that information in the future, so that the endless vicious cycle perpetuates itself over and over and over again. Since the time of Greece and Rome, what is that? Three, four thousand years? And you don't fucking learn. You don't fucking learn. Now, that vicious circle jerk aside, there's maybe one or two people in the rich man's club, the upper echelon of 0.001%, maybe one or two of them who actually give a fuck about doing what's right. And the rest, they'll just as soon as put a bullet in the other guy's head because he gives a fuck. Now, What leads into and gives credence to them not giving a fuck? I've already said, overpopulation leads to valueless lives. It has created and exasperated this thought exercise of a problem into a massive planet-spanning cancer. And Congress wants to count the number of fish in the fucking Gulf of Mexico. Oh, say it ain't so. Really? Really? Meanwhile, all those warnings that Satan and myself told you about thousands of years ago, we said, hey, If you bitches do these things, they'll lead to these steps, and these steps, and then finally these outcomes. A third of all the fish, a third of all the land animals, and a third of all the birds in the air. Gone. Well, not as far as you can snap your fingers, but since the implementation of deforestation and the devastation of genetic mutation, augmenting foods. And you can look precisely at the data points of when GMOs were mass produced and when all the critters who they got fed to started to die faster. You can look at those data points for yourself. 
You're not going to find them on the same damn website. But you'll find them. I guarantee fucking damn tea you, you'll find them. For any of you who are... Oh, what's the word? Not as much of a fucking moron as everyone I've encountered so far. No, that's too kind. For those of you who give the slightest whiff of a fart of a fuck, you can find it. Go dig for it, because I'm not your fucking mommy or your daddy. I'm not your brother or your sister or your aunt or your fucking uncle. I'm not your fucking friend or your family member. I'm not gonna do your fucking job and teach your dumb fucking ignorant ass for you. You're not paying me to. If you want to pay me to, use a link in the description for this shit show of a video. Go to Patreon or PayPal or whatever link you want to fucking use. And psychosomatically circular jerk yourself right into giving me some fallacy credit of my own to use out of your pocket. And I'll gladly go and do all the fucking research if the price is right. Come on down, be a fucking clown.